I asked what's for dinner because I'm hungry. Here's what a few of you were saying. We've got Miss Chrissy having some cereal. There's nothing wrong with a little breakfast for dinner. I'm a huge cereal fan. You could have cereal for breakfast. You could have lunch. You could have a dinner. You could have a snack. You got it all over the place. Cereal. Truly, what's for dinner? Many quiches being had by Beatrix309. Enjoyed those. We got diamond with pasta. What shape? What are you having with it? You're just making some pasta with a little salt and butter? Nothing wrong with that either. Button Nose Dave, is have, he had some ramen with egg. Enjoy that. Lovely. Sunran 4, marry me white beans with crusty bread. I've never had uh, marry me white beans. I don't know what those are. Sounds good. I like it. Winter Babe 98 uh, cereals is her husband's dessert. See? You don't, you, you're, you're not alone, Miss Chrissy. We all love cereal for dinner. We got uh, Jay Fresh having some fried cod and shrimp. Turtle Diver with the spaghetti and meatballs. Plain Mom having hamburgers made on the grill. Zero and 2000 country fried steak with gravy. That is what I'm talking about. You're just making my mouth is watering. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten a lot today, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. Now, Naya Randy Delgado is having pot roast. Mini Busy Taco Tuesday. See, now you're talking. Maybe it's taco time. It is Taco Tuesday. As LeBron would say, and Texas Tigress Meatloaf Monday. I assume you're having leftovers because it is Tuesday, just letting you know. Also, the first day of spring, steak and broccoli in the air fryer. Oh, my goodness. NYR's 000. You might just be a genius. I love that. Happy first day of spring. Like I said to everybody, we're going to have a little fun today and uh, a lot of good vibes. It's National Backyard Day, so soak up some sun while you play the Tuesday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. We're going to be grilling you as you compete for today's grand prize. That's $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice general trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated, here's how it works. You win the grand prize, or a piece of it rather, the bonus SB that you earn throughout the game are automatically added on top of that. If you don't win the grand prize, but you keep racking up those bonus SB, you will have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. Fortunately for you, that's just as simple as clicking a button that appears once the game has ended. So don't go anywhere. Okay? Stick around. Also, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin. If you don't have free rejoins... Don't worry, it got you covered. Click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. That's why you stick around to the end, too. Here are the winners from Monday's game. Congratulations. All five of you have already been credited. Well done to you, to everyone else. You know the deal. Keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. All right. You know what? The comments are going to go for a dip in the pool. Really enjoy the backyard today. So let's just get this game going without them. Okay. Here is question number one. What kind of sandwich is traditionally paired with tomato soup? Is it the cheesesteak, the po' boy, or the grilled cheese? Cheesesteak, po' boy, or grilled cheese? It's the chocolate and peanut butter of meals. The perfect combination on a cold, rainy day or snowy day, which a lot of you are having, is a bowl of hot tomato soup and a crispy but also chewy grilled cheese sandwich. Got to get that pull from the cheese. Grilled cheese, of course, is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. Starting us out with over 16,700 people in grand prize contention. Almost 18,000 of you are playing the game, though, so I have a feeling a lot of our stragglers are about to rejoin. And what do you know? I'm right. Shooting. The number of people in grand prize contention, well over 17,000 people. By the way, if you don't follow us on Twitter, you missed a little hint for this question today. Grilled cheese originally called, I think, uh, Dream Cheese or Cheese Dream, something like that. Anyway, it is a cheese dream. I still, I remember the grilled cheese, I, like, remember I can taste it 
the one never mind let's move on to question number two worth one bonus sb if you get it right which of the following continents contains the most countries is it africa australia or antarctica which of those continents contains the most countries whole lot of countries going on in this continent according to the united nations the continent we're looking for is home to 54 different countries meaning that over a quarter of the countries in the world are located in Africa. Africa is the answer. 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. Antarctica contains, I think, no countries. No country for old men. And Australia just contains Australia. They contain a, it has a bunch of states. It's divided into, I think, seven different states, uh, but just one country and one continent. One continent, one country, Australia. You can, you can use that, by the way, Australia, if you want put that on a t-shirt let's move on to question number three now worth one bonus sb if you get it right if a driver is hanging a louis what direction will they go at the next stop sign is it right left or straight they're gonna make a louis what direction are they gonna go at that stop sign the history and origin of this phrase is murky although the best version of the story in my opinion, of course, is that it's named for legendary boxer Joe Lewis and his nasty left hook. Left. Hanging a Louie is going left. A Roger is a right. And uh, a stri stri uh, stri 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 Streven would be straight. I made that one up, but it's not the answer to this one anyway. Well done, 85% of you. The 15% of you that got eliminated. Pretty much everybody coming back in, over 80% of you. Still over 16,000 people in grand prize contention. And we are on to question number four now, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Which horror movie villain has his own cable TV show? Is it Chucky, the Baba Duke, or Freddy Krueger? It is on the air right now. Maybe some of you watching and our fans. Now, Freddy did have Freddy's Nightmares, but that aired on NBC, which is a network. It is not cable. USA Network is the current home of everyone's favorite demented murder doll, Chucky. That's right. Chucky is the answer. 63% of you getting that one right. Well done. That is a current TV show. Freddy's show uh, was done in the 90s. The Babadook has yet to break into television. I hear he has some development meetings, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. It's a competitive place right now, especially after the strike. All right, of the 37% of you that got eliminated on that one, again, we're getting over two-thirds of you right back in. And everyone else, keep playing for those bonus SB and claiming so that you get the SB and also you're part of the giveaway after the game. All right, let's move on to question number five now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Where would you go to eat at the bathroom-themed modern toilet restaurant? Is it Japan, Germany, or Taiwan? Modern toilet. Boy, doesn't that just whet the appetite. Now, bathroom decorations and food served in toilets and urinals? Oh, <laughs> sign me up to never eat there. Even if I do find myself on a vacation in Taiwan, Taiwan is the answer. Oh, my goodness. That was a brutal question. Only 19% of you getting that one right. We just saw 81% of people have their chances of winning go down the drain. Unless, of course, they rejoin, give themselves another shot at that grand prize. And it looks like well over half of the people eliminated are doing just that. And that most of the people who didn't get that one right are not storming off in anger, but being smart enough to go, well, the strategy here is let's keep getting bonus SB and claim them at the end because I'm going to walk away with something. Because I'm smart, smart enough to play the game, smart enough to stick around till the end. All right, let's move on to question number six now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What is the name of Sony's latest gaming console? Is it the Lynx, the SNES, or the PlayStation 5? I'm looking at it right now, sort of, looking where it is in my office. While it may be in the later stages of its life, according to Sony, they haven't announced the next next generation console. For So for now, the PlayStation 5 is the bleeding edge for Sony. PlayStation 5 is the answer. 85% of you getting that one right. Well done. I remember in 2020 staying up and, and trying to order it when it came out, how difficult that was. Finally got one, had it delivered, met the truck down the street because I was afraid somebody was going to nab it off the truck. Uh they didn't. I have it. It's all cool. Let's move on to question number seven now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. When you free solo a mountain, you're climbing it without what? Is it shoes, ropes, and safety equipment, or your hands? Free soloing a mountain. 
involves climbing it without what? If you've ever seen the Oscar-winning documentary Free Solo, you sat with sweaty palms watching Alex Honnold scale El Capitan without ropes or safety equipment. That is what it means to Free Solo, and he did it, and it is breathtaking and uh, and and just... Oh my goodness, to watch it. It is beautiful. It is a very well done documentary. 95% of you getting that one right. Well done. I just know, I can't even imagine how someone does that and survives. And, uh, you know, does he survive? Well, you don't have to see the movie to find out. But he was at the Oscars, so that might be a hint. All right, let's move on to question number eight now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. A chicken named Mike once lived for 18 months without what body part? Is it the head, the wings, or the stomach? Chicken named Mike. Great name for a chicken, by the way. You heard of the expression, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Well, guess what? Mike was able to live his second best life with his head cut off. He lived without a head for 18 months. 78% of you getting that one right. Well done. I'll give 22% of you the chance to rejoin. There are probably some of you who go, well, like, I know other people that have been living without a head for 18 months. But for a chicken to do it is very impressive. There's a lot... You know, chickens don't do that much, but enough that you would need a head. All right, let's move on to question number nine now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of the following instruments is handheld? Is it a pipe organ, a baby grand piano, or a tambourine? Which of those is a handheld instrument? I wonder. Fun fact, if you're Superman, every instrument can be handheld. But for us mere mortals, we'll have to settle for being able to hold instruments... Like the tambourine. Tambourine is the answer. 5,911 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. But first, quick reminder, there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. That is where TapJoy is. Do your Daily TapJoy every single day, even when there aren't live games. They're easy to do. The SB be rack up and you'll check off daily discover from your to-do list now both of these ways of earning in the app get you sb towards your daily goal speaking of getting sb if you're someone who wants to take better care of their money i have a great offer for you when you open an online chime account you get a chime visa debit card a spending account an optional savings account and access to apply for the secured chime credit builder visa credit card also enjoy access to 60,000 plus fee-free atms Here's the deal. Sign up with Chime before the end of the month and get 1,500 SB. When you set up payroll direct deposit and get two consecutive qualifying direct deposits, you'll earn 22,500 SB on top of that. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. Be sure to check the terms and conditions. But at the very least, sign up with Chime. Do that. Get 1,500 SB just for signing up. That is maybe the deal of the century. You got to do it. Check it out after the game and get started. There'll be a little pop-up that appears. You click that, and you're way well on your way. We have, by the way, 5,930 people who may be on their way to a piece of that $1,000 grand prize. 17,700-plus people have stuck around to the end, and there is one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer our final question. Here's question number 10. There's no crying in baseball is a quote from what movie? Is it a league of their own, slap shot, or draft day? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. When MLB legend Jimmy Dugan takes the job as manager of the Rockford Peaches, he takes one of his players to task in the most memorable scene from a league of their own. A league of their own is the answer. 98% of you, 5,799 people knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize today. Well done to you. Why don't we meet just a few of these Highly skilled players, if you will. Each of you taking home 18 SB and grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Genevieve Henny, congratulations to you. A Hunter 71, you did it. Spaded Queen, you did it. Me Chrissy 3, huh? Well done. Maria Scorporin, or Maria S. Corporin, and Kyra Danae Young. Just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to every single one of you. And those of you who claimed your bonus SB, you know what to do with all these SB as they accumulate in your account, right? Of course you do. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, hundreds of other 
place is. You've done a great job all week long. Of course, we got another great live game coming your way tomorrow at the same time. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.